Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Strategy Zone video and today we have prepared both funny and serious situations in which kids called 911, with the reasons for their calls varying from something benign as math problems, difficulties with dressing up, to a more serious case of actually fearing for their life. This is 10 adorable kids who called 911. Before we start, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe with your notifications on to be the first one to know when we upload a new awesome video, and of course feel free to leave a comment and tell us your favorite number for this video. So when kids do something that is bound to get them overexcited, they just have to share it with whomever they get a chance to. This 4 year old girl decides to call 911 and shares her experience of going to a place called Disney on Ice. At first the operator sounds confused and after a little while she asks the girl to give the phone to either one of her parents and the girl just casually ignores her. Elk 911, what is your emergency? Uh... How can I help you? Good. Is there is there a grown up there I can talk to? No. Are you there by yourself? No. Who's there with you? I'm home. I wanted to tell you something. Okay. What is your name? Kenneth. Kenneth. Lene. Oh, Lene. What do you want to tell me, Lene? Um. Um, I want to tell you that, uh, I just first want to tell you, we went to Disneyland. I can't hear you. You need to speak up, please. We went to Disney on Ice. You went to Disney on Ice? Yes. Okay. How old are you? How old are you, Lene? Four. And is your mommy or daddy there? Yeah. Can I talk to one of them? Um... No, they're busy. Well, I have to talk to them because I need to know more about Disney on Ice. Oh, uh, they, they know about it. Well, I don't know about it, so I need to talk to them about it. Oh, you know what it is? In a second now, okay? Okay, can I talk to your mommy or your daddy? No, they're busy. I know they're busy, but I need to talk to one of them, please. Uh, I'm, I'm busy, too. I'm going to play a game, so I just wanted to tell you something, but... Okay, well, bye-bye. Um, while still harmless, we highly suggest that you don't ever try this at home because this kid called 911 solely for the purpose of trolling and ordering food from the police, wasting their time. As they're not allowed to hang up on him, they had to ensure while he had his fun that he later uploaded on his YouTube channel. Alright YouTube, so today we're going to be calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, I'd like to order a large pizza with a side of uh, fries and... Me. Oh, cool, cool. Excuse me. We don't have food at nine one one. Do you have an emergency? Yeah, I, I'm really hungry right now. I mean, uh, I no, need. No, do you have no, no, no? Do you have a medical emergency? Is there some medical emergency I can help you with? Yeah, my stomach seems to be growling. I think that's medical. It's it's like I'm really hungry. If your stomach, excuse me, if your stomach's hungry, go ask your mother for something to eat. Yeah, I can't. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, actually, um, I'm starting to get really tired, and I kind of need my food to come in before 11 o'clock. Well, you need to go get a nap if you're tired. Go ask mommy for some food, and then take a nap, you go. Nine one one. what's your emergency? I'm dying. Can I have your address, please? Uh, 123 No House Lane. Woo! Alright, guys, I hear some sirens outside. Oh, mm. my... Oh my god. Is the police? Yeah, they're outside right now. Dude, there's so many of them. Oh my god. I prank called 911. I didn't mean to. I just thought it was... Oh my god. After a hacker group took down the PlayStation Network a couple years back, a letdown gamer kid called 911 asking for help. While of course the whole situation was deemed as a non-emergency, the kid was eventually told to go outside or read a book. Sony says its PlayStation Network has been fully restored after a Christmas Day attack that knocked it offline for about three days. The outage prompting a gamer to call 911. The police or paramedics? Do you do you know about the whole thing that's going on with the PlayStation Network? 
Well, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office tweeted out that exchange that ended with the caption, last time I checked, that wasn't an emergency. Try going outside or reading a book. The FBI is investigating the cyber attack that disrupted connectivity and online gameplay on some of the busiest days of the year. This little fella called 911 after his dad drove through a red light. He later went on to passing the phone to his dad, who, the least to say, was shocked. The rules of the road are simple. When you see a yellow light, you go slow, and then when it turns red, you stop. Turns out, that was a lesson six-year-old Robbie felt like he needed to teach his dad. 911, what's your emergency? Um, daddy went past a red light. It was in the brand new car, my mommy's car. Yeah. Yup is right. The kindergartner tattled to police. And he had to go to the car wash and then he went past the red light. It was Saturday. Robbie and his dad, Mike, on their way home, came to this red light. Mike stopped, then turned, legally. And he says, Dad, you went through a red light. And he says, yeah, you can turn on red there. No, you can't. That light's red. You stay there. He goes, I'm calling the police. True to his word, and unbeknownst to mom or dad, Robbie picked up the phone, dialed 911. And this is one of the good ones. Mike Bose, with almost two decades' experience as a dispatcher, was on the other end. It's actually one of the good ones, because when a child calls, you don't know if it's going to be the parents having a heart attack, they're fighting. And imagine Mike's surprise when Robbie handed him the phone. I just kind of, you know, panicked for a second. Just want to let us know you ran a red light. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, I apologize. All smiles today, but Robbie issuing a stern warning. Keep your eyes on the road, for you never know what the backseat driver might do. And if someone does something wrong, you call 911. In Quincy, Reed Lamberty, WCVB News Center 5. This adorable three year old saved his mother's life by calling 911 after she had suffered a life threatening seizure. The three year old Guy Fritchie later received a certificate for bravery and a toy fire truck. What's going on with your mom? My, 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 my mom is not feeling doing better. Your mom's not feeling better? No. My, my mom breathing so bad. Mom, my whole body is, is wrinkling. My, my, my mom is not feeling good to me. After witnessing a burglary, a seven-year-old boy and his sister were hiding inside their bathroom when they took up the phone and called 911. The boy claimed that the robbers were armed and that they wanted to harm his parents, so he did his best at explaining what was going on. 911 shortly after his father suffered a stab wound. Little AJ did not hesitate to call the police, which led to them responding right away and thus saving AJ's dad. Hello? Hello, 911. Oh, oh, Next up, we have a four-year-old boy who is having some math problems, so he decides to call 911, seeking for help. The officer on the other end of the line, clearly in the mood, goes along with it. 911 emergency. Yeah, I need some help. What's the matter? With my mouth. With your mouth? No, with my mouth. I have to do it. Will you help me? Sure. Where do you live? No, with my mouth. Yeah, I know it. Where do you live, though? No, I want you to talk to me on the phone. No, I can't do that. I can send someone else to help you. Okay, um... What kind of math do you have that you need help with? I have, I have takeaways. 
Oh, you got to do the takeaways? Yeah. All right, what's the problem? Um, you have to help me with my math. Okay. Tell me what the math is. Okay, 16. Yeah. Take away 8. Uh-huh. Is what? You tell me. How much do you think it is? I don't know. One? No. How old are you? I'm only four. Four? Yeah. Yeah. What's another problem? That was a tough one. Um. Oh, here's one. Five take away five. Five take away five. And how much do you think that is? Five. Coming up on number two is a four-year-old boy who called the police after his mother had passed out. The only problem is that the boy doesn't know his home address, but with the help of a police officer, they were able to find a white house with a brown door in Iowa. My mommy doesn't feel good. Your mommy? Uh, he's at, uh, he's at, uh, Iowa. Where? You know where Iowa is? Yes, I know where Iowa is. Mommy? Who else is there with you besides He's passed out right now. He's not feeling good. He's go he's gonna drink some juice, but uh how how old are you? Passed out. How old are you? Four. Four? Four? Yeah. What color house do you have? Uh it's white. What color door does your house have? I'll go check if it if, if it's brown, okay? I'll be right back. No, well, don't hang up. Don't hang up. Uh, I'll, I'll come up there and see if it's brown, okay? Okay, you go, but you can take the phone with you. you hear the siren? A bad guy's coming. No, no, the, the good guys are coming. They're going to come and help your mommy. Oh. They're right there by somebody's house. Okay, you go and yell at them. Go outside and say, hey, I'm over here. Yeah. I'm over here. Our mommy's in trouble. Our mommy got a passed out. Okay, did you call the call the 911? Yeah, let me talk to him. I'm, I'm, okay, let me talk I'm to him. Our number one pick for this video is a phone call between the police dispatcher and a five-year-old girl who called 911 in order to get help for her father, who apparently was having a heart attack. While still a very serious situation, the five-year-old girl remained calm and collected, probably because she did not know just how critical the phone call could be for her dad, but also because the 911 operator did his part. Um, my dad can't hardly breathe. Okay, hold on a second, okay? Okay. How old are you? I'm five years old. Okay, what's your name? Savannah. Okay, Savannah, hold on. I'm getting them dispatched, okay? Okay. You need to come real fast. Okay, Savannah, I have them on the way. Is your daddy still awake? Yeah. Okay. Is your front door unlocked, Savannah? Uh, is the front door unlocked? No. Okay, Savannah, can you go unlock that front door for me? Sure. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, Dad. Ask him if this has ever happened before. Has this ever happened? No. So far, so good. He's so awake. Hey, ask him if he has any kind of chest pain. Do you have any chest pain? Yes. Okay. This is his first time. Okay. I got him on the way, so. Okay. We're in our jammies. And I'm in a TikTok, so I'll have to get dressed. Okay. I know what I'm going to wear, but he really needs to talk to them real fast. Yes, he goes on walk. Okay. So you still doing okay, Savannah? Yeah, he's okay. Okay. I'll, go, I'll be in my room, and I'll be putting on... Um, I Say, Savannah, I want you to stay there with your daddy, okay? Okay. I need you to make sure that he stays awake, so. Oh, okay. I got that. And we have a dog that's really um, small. Is, so he's friendly? He's friendly. Okay. 
He kind of barks. He kind of barks. That's all right, though. No, come on. Then we have to on the way. Come on, Lulu. Come here. Is your dad okay still? Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. That's all for this video guys. We sincerely hope you liked it. So be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.